Hi there, welcome to this Zebra tutorial. My name is Mark and today I'm going to show you how to create a riser template. Now it sounds okay on its own, but the great thing about it is you, you, it only takes a couple of small things to change or add and you can have all kinds of different things. So it's a great template. So here we go, as per usual, starting with initialize and then we come into our sen uh, their synthesis. Now we're going to use two oscillators. We're going to use a mixer and we'll just turn that off and we'll use a filter as well. Not one of those though. Ah, VCF. We'll just turn that off for the time being. Right, the first thing we need to do is set up our two oscillators. Now I'm going to change them both to quad. You can use 11 if you like. You can use 11 and quad. It's up to you. Also, make sure there's no effects. And you can put the width all the way off or all the way up or leave it where it is. It's up to you. Just for ease of use, I'm just going to leave it where it is. Remember, this is just a template, really. So, the first thing to do is detune our synths. So, let's have a listen. Okay, so just detune them however much you like. It's up to you. They don't have to be the same, but again, for ease of use, I'm just going to leave them at the same. The next thing we want to do is tuning. And you can do whatever you like with the tuning. Remember, you've got 48 semitones or 4 octaves either way. I, 7 semitones is a perfect fifth. Which sounds kind of cool. And maybe this one, an octave. Again, you could go down the way if you wanted. And it depends on what you're after. Just for ease, I'm just going to go 12 and 12. Why not? Plus 12 and plus 12. That's going to be very high. We'll leave it at that. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that's basic tone that we started with. Now we're going to modulate the tuning parameter with an envelope. So just right click on the three button or the tuning parameter, uh, modulation parameter, and envelope 2 is what we'll use on both. And just turn them up to kind of 3 o'clock, or in this case, I think, what was that, 34? Now you can hear the drop there, yeah? But if we come over here and put the attack all the way up, the decay, and the release. There you have it, it's a basic. I know it's basic, but it's all we're after at the moment. All we want is a template, but I'm going to show you what else you can do with it, obviously. interesting. So up and all the way back down. Excellent. Now I'm just going to use the mixer in this instance just to join them two to this and I'm going to turn these two down. So what I'm hearing is both oscillators being put into the mixer and the reason I've done that is because I want to add a, a voltage control filter there. Now Obviously that's us hearing everything, but I'm going to put it through a bandpass just to give it um, a high pass actually, just to give it a, an edgier. Like that, we could change the envelope to V-slope, that makes it really fast.
really slow, but getting gradually faster. So it's up to you. Mess around with that. I'm just going to leave it in quadric at the moment. Okay, uh, let's just work it where I want that. It's maybe a bit high. But again, we could put the tuning down. Freaking out a little bit. Okay, so what have we got so far? Excellent. So that's really all we want. You could kind of maybe turn the volume up here. Now, what do you think will happen if I do that? Okay, it's now... It's not a riser, it's a downer. And you can mess around with the settings on the envelope. Back to a riser, but only because I've taken all the attack off. You can mess around with all of these settings, but what we've got now is a template that can be used to create all kinds of riso. There's your riser. There's a downer, or whatever you want to call it. But what you could also do is you can, instead of using the envelope, you could use the LFO. So if we change that to LFO1, oh no, let me just show you something else. If you've got one that's positive, say, 36 and one that's negative that's 36. What do you think is going to happen here? <laughs> You've got one going up and one going down just to really confuse people. But yeah, so we'll just put it back. So LFO1. Let's see what happens when we use an LFO instead. A lot really. Ah, uh -huh. but when you change the time, so you have uh, you you now have it based on time, but you can click on here. Oops, sorry, it should have been, we should have actually used a global LFO for that. You can use the LFO for those things, and of course you can change. And you've got all these different options in here. But if we were to use a global LFO, Here we can choose by bar, so it's going to do it now by bar. But in quarters is too, it's not um, long enough. So if I was to draw this in, watch what happens here. Watch what happens. So as you can see, it's operating on each bar. If I change that to four bars, it will do the it will do the cycle once over this four bar section. And of course, it's going up and down. Yeah. So there's loads of things you can do. But in this instance, well, I'm going to change this back to envelope one. I just wanted to show you how little it takes to start to get things to change. Twelve, twelve, twelve. 
Sorry. Should be envelope two, shouldn't it? That wasn't very clever. So there you have a little riser. Now what does it sound like in amongst some other stuff? So, but again, what you could do is come into the patch itself, come down here and add some effects. Maybe a shaper for some distortion. some reverb, some delay, put them on the sends, or you could just add them straight in. Nice. So, really experiment. Now, what I would do is I would save that, or if you're like me, I would probably have them like that, just so I can use a specific amount of both. It's up to you on the sends and returns. And of course you can put them in full mix, take all the dry out, put the full wet. And you can automate the amount of wet and dry and mix to give you a better riser. So I hope that's useful for you, it's just a basic patch, but in the world of dance music, these risers and things are used a lot, but experiment, add LFOs, all kinds of stuff. And don't forget, save your preset. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video.